Genghis Khan. Of course, you already know who he is, and today we're going to spawn him in 867 AD using the event inside of Crusader Kings 3. And we're going to play as him and just see how much destruction and chaos we can cause. I just quickly wanted to mention, if you do like these sorts of videos, do consider subscribing, it really helps out. Anyway, let's just get into it. Now, I've never actually done this before, so don't know how it's going to go. And if you've seen any of my other videos, I think my biggest weakness in CK3 is actually like when I've got control loads of troops and multiple armies. So this is actually going to be quite a challenge for me. So I think it'll be a lot of fun to try. So I spawned him in using the event. And as you can see, he's absolutely insane. Just look at this character. And the greatest of cons is mad. Makes things so cheap and everything. He's great. His wife has 20 martial, which means if I set her to chivalry, I get plus 13 martial. That pushes me up to 39. It's insane. But you know what? As he should be. And for education, I get the plus 3 martial. I might as well try and get peacemaker as, yeah, plus 10% extra acceptance. So I only have to get up to like 90% to actually finish a war. And we're going to be having a lot of wars. And we do start in a war of the Mongol invasion of Mongolia. We have 31,000 troops. They have, you know... A nice 3,000. So for the first war, we're going to chill. Let's check. We should have some good horse archers. We get these. These are the Mongol horde. These are the special soldiers. And once you die, yeah, they disappear. So you want to use these quick. We do have no men at arms. So, of course, horse archers. All the way. These are going to be insane. We'll let them build before we even stand up. But I'm going to try this first war with just maybe some... Mongol hold and all my men at arms and it'll probably be pretty broken. Uh, okay, they've actually just stormed while I was waiting for them to build. But you know what? It does not matter. We're going to raise, yeah, one Mongol horde and one thing a sec just to feed their armies. And we'll raise the rest and start a big siege. And I think that's enough. He's already asking for a white piece. Uh, no, absolutely not. Okay, we got Peacemaker. So when we get to 90%, which I think we will after a couple of sieges right now, we can actually... Yeah, there we are. We're up to 97%, but we can still enforce demands. There we are. So now, look at the size of us already. And my plan for this is simple. We just want to go as far west as possible. And if um, any of you are interested in the mods I use, because I get asked that quite a lot, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a, like a mod list on Steam. I'll leave it linked in the description of all my gameplay videos. I'll update it every video. If I like change a mod, add other mods, it'll just be updated every time I upload a gameplay video. I don't change it too often either. So I think one playlist just continuously updating will work better than making a separate one for each video. So that will be linked in the description if that's of interest for you. And if you've never actually tried playing as Genghis Khan, there is like a decision where you can like take a decision to basically become him. But what you can do is the Mongol invasion. You basically get... All the lands inside the kingdom and it's free or you can demand subjugation you do that and okay he accepted it but if they deny it like some say if this guy denies it which i imagine he will he's quite big we should go straight to war so mongol realm invasion who basically starts the war for you and we can just try and start a lot of these at the same time i mean we're, we're going to because we want another war and this should be yeah quite a big one Got the size of that already, and we're, I mean, we're five years into the game. I feel like I could have done more. We took a few up north. I'm not too bothered about them. They just feel like a pain to actually go and chase. I want to do some big expanding to the west. <laughs> we just beat this guy, right? And I'm pretty sure, yeah, he's gone straight back to war with us. He does not want to be subjugated, which, you know what, I understand. Fair enough. Stupid choice, because you have no chance. But you do you, I suppose. So we've got this cult event, which is why if you see a lot of like insane geniuses, this is why. Because this event happens a lot and like they just spawn way too often. And apparently, I've never had this happen, but if you deny them and the cult comes back, I think they can actually just come and behead you. So, yeah, you just join my court and we'll leave it there. I don't exactly want to be beheaded. Gonna be honest with you. Rather keep my head. Playing as the horde is just absolutely ridiculous because no one can do anything about it. Like... Who is going to stop you? Like, who? Like, 35k. Who? No one. So, <laughs> it's just like constant wars expanding, taking everyone's land, and then just crying about it. Because there was nothing they could do. Especially when you can demand subjugation, and you can literally start a war on someone's land. Because you don't have to actually go through declaring war. So, it's just like non-stop. You don't even have to put your armies down. Something going on. I th it must be some sort of bug. And I just realized I've lost a lot of fame to it. As you can see, I'm now, yeah, very low level of fame. And it's because every time I declare a war on this guy, it just, like, 
Maybe we had a truce. I was trying to demand subjugation from him. But yeah, something kept happening and it kept making me lose fame. So now I am apparently, yeah, very low level, which seems a bit harsh, not gonna lie. But you know, what do you do about it? Nothing. Okay, that was way too easy. Look how much land we just got again. That is insane. We're like easily massive. I'm losing these two walls. But I mean, now you only have to focus on these two walls, which means, yeah, we can just... Just win, to be honest with you. I'm starting to wonder, you know, once I die, what is going to happen? Because I cannot imagine it's going to be great. I feel like once, you know, Genghis Khan, you know, dies, is it just going to... I mean, it's not terrible. Not great either. So I don't... Yeah, I don't, I don't know how that's going to work. We'll have to wait and see. Now, this may be the biggest war yet. We're going to declare war. Mongol invasion. Yeah, we're just going to keep going through the land, taking the biggest chunks we can. I want to try and get to the Byzantine Empire, to be honest with you. I think for, for now, I want to get to these guys, and then we can just move into Europe and just cause absolute havoc. going to look weird. It's just going to be a long, straight line. <laughs> but, you know, we do what we got to do. Uh, yeah. <laughs> we literally captured him straight away. I mean, yeah, what, what were they going to do about it? <laughs> Oh, and now we can do the Mongol invasion on these guys. Oh, we can't get much land, though, which is a bit of a shame. Do you know what? That's the weirdest thing to siege. But you know what? I respect it. Fair enough. I mean, I mean at least we're going to have some great feasts now, I suppose. <laughs> One benefit. Surprise, surprise. Yeah, this little kid thought it was a good idea to not be subjugated by me. So, you know what that means. Basically, we just run in there with the most insane amount of Mongol horde troops ever. Take it for ourselves. I mean, at one point, I was giving out a bunch of holdings. I've kind of given up. <laughs> I might do it again in a minute because I was just giving out like 40 at a time. So I got kind of tired of doing it over and over again. But maybe a good idea to start giving out some more because we're way, way, way over. Yep. And look how much land we just took. Ready? Boob. It was going to be long and thin, but we've, you know, taken a quick detour. This is, this is, this is tragic. I'm not going to lie. We are down to 27k. And apparently little guy thought he could beat a wall against me. I mean, how many troops is he coming with? A thousand. Uh, great. W good job. Yeah, amazing decision by you, clearly. We're getting loads of artifacts as well because we're just stealing so many. <laughs> it's just broken. I do completely understand that once Genghis Khan dies, I imagine it's going to look pretty awful. He is 55. He's feeling fine. Okay, so with them dealt with, we get back to the main wars. So let's see, we've almost got this full tree as well. We're just super buffing like our armies because why not? I mean, may as well. Hopefully, we can do a Mongol invasion on these. I do want to get to the Byzantines. Okay, our truce is actually ended. Do you know what? We could do a Mongol invasion, but you know what? I'm going to try subjugation just because, I mean, we can. That's why. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and do that. And we're just going to raise... All of our amazing troops straight on the border, run over there, and you know how it's going to go from there. I probably should have raised them separately because this is insane. Like, they're so slow raising, and I'm probably taking attrition before they've even raised. And just like that, we subjugated all of his land. So, yeah, he might be a little bit of a problem because, of course, yeah, he's going to be pretty... Wait, where's he gone? Okay, we subjugated him. I thought that'd mean he would keep his land, but apparently not. Now, we actually have way too much land and way too many vassals. So, let me check. Let's just be sure. We can't do a Mongol invasion now on the Byzantines. Byzantines? I never know how to say that. Because I thought I was saying it right, but people say I say it wrong. So, let me know in the comments if you see this bit. Which way do you pronounce it? Because I know there's like a few different ways people say it. So, I don't exactly know what the correct one is. So, anyway, let me know what you think the right one is. And if we get this one, yeah. We, of course, want Constantinople. So, yeah. We're going to go with that kingdom right there, just to make sure, oh no, it's on the other side. I don't know why I thought it was on that side. So which invasion do we need to do? Uh, none of them get me it. Fine, we'll just do that big one straight through the center of his land then. So, let's start that. Now, we can literally just move our point. Just go, go, go by sea. I mean, why not? We'll just raise a bunch of the raiders, um, the Mongol horde, and make sure they all have commanders. And then we're just going to send them all across, basically. Just start sieging everything. This should be a quick war. I mean, they're weak right now. Because currently, yeah, they have a thousand troops. They're in a lot of wars. So they're not looking too good, which is great for us. Right, so we've got strategists as well. I may as well move over to learning. And maybe I'll be able to get a hold of body. I mean, we are 58, so pretty unlikely we're going to live too much longer. But we'll see. 
I mean, if we're lucky, maybe we'll even get into the UK. It'd be insane if we could get Ireland or Iceland. I think that would be great. I'm not sure if we're going to manage it. We've got a lot, but as soon as we die, I think, yeah. Especially when my son is, he's quite, he's terrible. I'm not going to lie. I mean, he's not exactly who we want to be leading this. He has great prowess. But, you know, his 58-year-old dad has more, so it's a bit embarrassing. And we're basically completely uncontested doing this right now. Because I think, I don't know where their troops are, but yeah, I think they're busy doing something else. So like, yeah, they're not even like coming to fight. So we can enforce that. Easy. Straight to the middle of there. Just cursed. Absolutely cursed. We can actually demand subjugation of Bulgaria. I mean, I imagine they're going to say, yeah, gift. But, I mean, we're so close now. We can raise troops right over here. And we can get there so quickly and just completely overwhelm their forces, which, which is great. I mean, I love it. Like, I'm not even bothering to raise levies. I feel like it's just a waste. So I'm literally raising my men at arms and then some of the hordes. I mean, there's plenty. Okay, they've actually got a decent amount of troops that have um, just come back. So what we're going to do, we're going to hold out, to make sure some of these sieges finished. Yeah, and these lot here are just going to rush into them, completely encircle them, get, um, you know, Heart of Iron for Reddit excited. Insane encirclement. And they're done. Oh, yeah, there we are. From every angle, boom. Easy. Wait. Wait, what? I can take the decision to become the greatest of Khans, which is the decision I was talking about at the start of the game. Because I am already Genghis Khan, this does not mean it's going to work again. I'm going to get 60k. Surely not. No, it didn't. Oh, my. <laughs> There's no way. Surely not. I did not know that was going to happen. What can anybody do? I mean, at, at this point, some guys want him to propose an alliance. Who is it? Some random guy down here. I mean, I respect the hustle. Not going to work today. Not going to lie. How many prisoners do we have? 46? I mean, we could technically ransom them and probably get a lot of money. But um, <clears throat> don't look. Um, definitely no war crimes going on right now. Nothing to see. Just just look on the left side of the screen. Uh, maybe hungry, our next target. I think so. I mean, we have so many troops now. It'd be wrong to just do one war at a time. Like, we're just going to start demanding subjugation on absolutely everybody around this corner. And we're just going to rush in with 60k troops and do what, what, the, what, what we want, basically. Still going on on my screen. Most of them decided to fight, which, fair enough. Four wars? Yeah, it's not too bad. Really, a peasant revolt? Whoa. Why did we win that so quick? Landless attacker has no armies left. What was that about? Nice try, I suppose. I mean, yeah, attrition is a thing. We could manage if we wanted to. But I mean, at this point, does it matter? We have 60,000 troops. I mean, nothing matters at this point. Like, we just do whatever we want. The Northman army is now trying. Yeah, 9k troops are impressive. Good for you. Well done. You have 9,000 troops. I'll, I'll get you far, I'm sure. Oh no, I am riding through the streets of Kenty when a mob of screaming and shouting peasants descends on my retinue. Before I realize what's happening, the commoners tear me from my horse and start beating me. I can hear my guards shouting, but before they could reach me, the world is fading from my sight. You were murdered by an unknown assailant. That's not surprising. We lived until 62. We lost all of the special soldiers. I feel like... I probably could have saved the greatest Khan thing for this guy's life, but it was just it was just too good to let down. Surprisingly, then, the kingdom didn't split apart. It's a shame we didn't make it with, you know, the original Genghis Khan, but this is the war we've been waiting for, and somehow we're up to 48,000 troops now. We have special soldiers again, so they come back. I stand down on succession, but I had succession and they didn't stand down. I'm not fully sure how this works, to be honest. I thought they were gone. Uh, we got 100%. Why? I think, yeah, he was leading his own army of like 400 troops. So we sent 9k and yep, yeah, that was okay. Smart. Very nice. So yeah, now we actually, that's insane. We actually have this as well. Right. So apparently if you have too many walls, the raise all button actually just moves off to the side. And as you can see, yeah, we're basically at war with everyone. We have 14 different wars going on. I just demanded subjugation of, like, literally everyone I'm boardroom with, and a lot of them agreed, as you can see, we've kind of spread in a weird way, but if I zoom in, I have no idea what's going on. 
A lot of Bohemia's of troops are up here. We got 9k um, Mongol Horde here. So we're going to raise them and just rush in. We're just going to rush into everyone. We might get defeated eventually. But I think if we can just weaken enough of them, we can just slow them down where they can't do major sieges so quick. And maybe we can start cleaning up. Come on, if we win all this, we're, we're done. We're good. Come on. Yes, we just literally smashed. I don't even know how many armies. Italy's in the war, but I don't think we're actually going for them. So it's not going to be like a war target. We've got there's a lot of them down here, which I haven't even looked at. But a lot of them are, seem to be Bohemia. Is that Bohemia? No, Prussia. Let's see. We can just go and siege their land. That might actually fix it. If we can just go and siege their land, take them out of the wall. I mean, that might be quicker than chasing their troops down to... God knows where they are. Okay, we do need to start winning some of these because the game is running really slow. There's so much going on. I think the game's just like having enough. We haven't lost any yet. We're up to 19% on West Slavia, which is, yeah, Bohemia. Oh, no. It's a big independence faction. I'm not even going to look. I mean, I just don't have time. <laughs> we'll have to just hope this finishes soon and then we can look at that. There's so many troops standing up. It's starting to look like Hearts of Iron. <laughs> just troops everywhere. Wait. So my wife has been cheating on me with this man. Really? He's declared war with 1,500 troops. There's so much going on. I don't think I can even manage this myself. <laughs> it's just the game's running at like 10 FPS. So many people that are trying to go independent. 28 of them with 30k troops. That's actually a worry. I didn't think it'd be that bad. We really need to start wrapping up more of these wars quicker. Okay, we won that tyranny war against that little shit. So we're going to enforce that right now. And he's in our prison because yeah. They're going to torture him. Once that's over, we're of course going to behead him. There's 13k troops there. Who are these? I think this is the independence war. <laughs> At this point, I have no idea what's going on. We've got a lot more land, but there's like a bunch of people going free. There's 8k and he reckons we're going to win. Shall we try? There's 2,000 of us. We have great troops. Yeah, look how much better our troops are. We have so much horse archers. It's just insane. And yeah, the North One Army, they always have a lot of troops, but... They just levies a lot of the time, so they're terrible. So you can just march in there with, like, barely any troops. But as long as you have some good quality ones, you're good. The other war was about to end, right? And then another independence war has popped up. As OP and as fun as playing as Genghis Khan is. Oh, she's still alive? Ugh, can't be having that. Right, okay. So yeah, as fun, as, in, as, as insanely OP as it is playing as him. At the one point where I had like 60,000 troops, it didn't last very long, but that's absolutely like insane. I'm sure we could, if we wanted to, struggle through and win out these wars because, yeah, they might have slightly more troops, but I mean, they are AI. We could beat them. But yeah, I think we proved a point out. Pretty broken it is playing as him. And I mean, the Empire is massive. Of course, I'm going to leave that there. So thank you so much for watching. And if you did enjoy, please consider leaving a like and subscribing. I'm going to end the video with a massive thank you to all the channel members. We have Bayek von Quark, Arcane, Damien, Intermio1, Irrelevant, Luke Jarrett, Zigadelic, Random Icelander, Dover404, Harold Volmer, and Victor Voss Anderson. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.